Welcome, 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 guys. Now, I know it's been a minute since we've met, and I'm sorry for that. I want to make it up to you. But I'd like to think that we've got a pretty decent show this week if it actually ends up recording. It is, unfortunately, I guess for some, the end of the road for us here at the PAT, and what a long, strange trip it's been. We've had some good times, you and I, my internet friends. So, for the last time ever, lace them up. The PAT starts and ends right now. Flynn will hold, and it's a fake. They give it to David, and he heads for the corner. Touchdown, LSU! We want to get right into it. There's been a lot going on in the world of sports this week, so we're going to dive right in here on first down. And on our last first down, we've got great news for you boxing fans with the biggest fight since David and Goliath quickly approaching. Pacquiao Mayweather has invented a new way to take even more of your money because $90 to watch two shirtless dudes punch each other in the face for two hours isn't enough. Now, originally, I was going to complain that the two biggest boxing stars since Tyson and Holyfield were planning to charge $10 for tickets to their weigh-in, but then I found that proceeds are going to charity, which is totally cool in my book. I love charity. I'm just kind of confused because watching the folks on The Biggest Loser step onto the scale after being verbally assaulted by some super fit 30-year-old trainer who doesn't have the word carb in her vocabulary is absolutely free if you own a television. So... I decided if two guys worth a combined $900 million can charge to have people watch them stand on a scale and have 15-minute staring contests, so can I. So, for the low price of $0.00, you can catch your boy, step on a scale, shirtless, flexing my perfectly bronzed muscles in Free Speech Alley next Wednesday, while sports director Johnny Lombardi and I have a staring contest immediately following my weigh-in. Spoiler alert, I weigh 145 pounds. Proceeds will go towards buying one functional microphone for the Tiger TV staff. Please, people, take my word for it. We deserve at least one for all 50 of us. Now, of course, going from that, there's only one thing to talk about, and you guys probably already know what it is. Yup, Timothy Jesus Christ Tebow. Now, this past weekend, the football equivalent of Willy Wonka Chip Kelly decided to bring back everyone's favorite pigskin-slinging priest, Tim Tebow. Since his stint with the evil empire New England Patriots two years ago, Tebow has been hard at work announcing pregame shows for the SEC Network and making Cody Krupp pick up his groceries when he comes to Baton Rouge. But all of those days came crashing down on Sunday when Tebow reached a one-year deal to play for the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, of course, who is more excited than Tebow himself and his best friend, JC? Everyone who works for ESPN, obviously. You guys can see in this bizarre Sports Center screenshot, every single thing on the rundown is Tebow related. They're having an absolute field day out in Bristol. Now, I don't really get it all because to me, this would be like taking the entirety of my show to talk about how Jordan Sparks just signed a one year deal for a company that may let her record music. Sure, 2007 was a great year for her, but then people quickly realized she didn't have what it takes to actually be good at her job on a professional level before appropriately relegating her to the makeup kiosk inside of JCPenney. Now, I love ESPN, I do. They've got some great stuff on there. But this Tebow business has got to stop, guys. We're in the midst of the NHL and M NBA playoffs, which for those Louisiana natives that are watching are the two sports that go on when football isn't being played, and they're also not baseball. But hey, whatever floats your boat, ESPN. And on everyone's third, on everyone's third favorite down, I've decided to go for a change of pace on our last show. This week, our resident Florida crazy person and suspected Aaron Hernandez murder accomplice, Taylor Cure, and I took to the hardwood for a game of hoops. And since the young guy is going to be taking over my spot as web show extraordinaire, I decided to give him a few tips in the heat of battle. Let's check it out. I've taken to the hardwood today to shoot a couple hoops. Oh, wow. What's up, Pat? What's going on, man? It's Taylor Cure. I've seen you here. Yeah, I'm just out at the neighborhood court and uh, playing, playing some ball. You, you, you want to play some horse, man? I'm challenging you. I'm always down for a good challenge. So, 
Ball up, son. I'm gonna go first since this is my court, and uh, I'm gonna keep it simple. Keep it simple on you for the first shot, so you know nothing crazy. Hey man, who's that cat coming down? Give me an eight. Man, I thought you had the hops. You know, being from New Jersey, you got that uh, street cred, but uh, we'll keep it. We'll keep it fair. All right. Well, first of all, TC, I don't play that much, but. I guess thanks for taking it easy on me. I didn't know you could do that. H.O. H.O. it is. All right, I guess I'm going to have to take it down even a further notch. So uh, I guess maybe you can do this. I don't know. All right, well, I don't appreciate that tone, first of all, PC. And just a bit of advice. If you're going to be doing the web show next semester, first things first, you always want to show a little chest. Not too much, but just enough to keep the ladies interested. How do you think I get so many compliments? I'll, I'll, t I'll shoot the lab. You know, besides the chest here, you got any more nuggets of knowledge you want to pass over to, so I can, you know, take over this throne? The PAT is something to follow up. I don't know if I can. You know what I've learned, TC? Never trust. Kevin or Jeremy. Those web guys are seedy. I don't even know I don't even know Kevin's middle name. Is it Kevin Dupuy Dupuy? I don't know. Who knows? Well, it's my shot though. Alright, fine. There you go. Do you miss anything, man? This one's for Rabelais. Well, uh, final shot, TC. You dedicated your last one to Mitch, so Mitchell Beauregard Rabelais, this one's for you. I'm, TC. Man, that was a good workout, man. Good hoop set. Whew. I mean, so I had to work you a little bit on my home court. Maybe it's the home court advantage. Where, where did you get so good at basketball? Uh, just hard work and practice, man. Like any great athlete. Did you ever think about walking on to like the LSU team? I did. You know what? I confronted Coach Jones, and uh, you know LSU basketball. They already have a five-eight white guy. They don't need another one. So Henry Shorter took my spot. Well, I mean, at least you got your own web show next semester. Do you need any tips? I, you know what? I'm, I'm looking for a name. You know, you have a very creative name. The P-A-T, it kind of goes with your name. What? But my oh. initials are W-T-C. I, I, I'm trying to come up with a name, and I can't really I can't really get one. You know what? I actually saw a P-A-T on the back of a multivitamin okay. and l literally just realized that's it's also my name. I didn't put that together until Is that right how your now. parents named you? I don't know. Possible. Well, uh, TC, my only piece of advice, man, uh, obviously show a little more skin. Show a little more skin. You know, don't, uh, don't be funny, be unprofessional. Is that the way to get it done? Kinda. Okay. It's worked for I me I think so I can far. do that, honestly. Well, uh, I don't have any naming advice. I'm not as creative. I don't know why people think I'm creative. I'm not. Uh, but, you but know, just pay. go with the flow. Follow your heart, TC. That's the best advice I've ever heard. Well, for Taylor Cure, the future of Tiger TV web television, one last time, I'm Pat Gunther. Thanks for watching, Tigers. Well, here it is, folks. The television equivalent of Custer's last stand at Little Bighorn. It's finally fourth down. Now, over the course of the semester, we've been on a roller coaster ride of emotions together, you and I. From frustration to inexplicable sexual attraction to the loud mouth New Jersey TV show host. You guys have been through a lot. So I figured what better way to cap it all off than to take to the streets of our beautiful campus and talk to you, the viewers, about what this year has been like for you guys. Now I've had a blast in the past four and a half months, but I never really asked how you guys feel. 
So in the spirit of giving back, let's find out what fans really think of the PAT. Well, guys, as the semester draws to a close, I look back at my time in Hodges Hall and I think, damn, that was awesome. But I've come to realize that it's not always about what I think. So for the final episode of the PAT, I've decided to take to the streets of our beautiful campus under the broad magnolias and shady oak trees and find out what you, the fans, really think of the PAT. So let's get right into it. We are here with Morgan, the first loyal follower of the PAT. Morgan, I gotta know, as a fan, what did you think of the show this semester? Um, I thought it was awesome, extremely entertaining. Probably one of the best shows I've seen in a while. What did you guys <laughs> think of the host? He was really good. What was so good about him? He's kind of cute. I've, I've heard that once or twice before, ladies. You're <laughs> making me blush. But the host is kind of cute. That's not the first time we've heard it. Let's see if anyone else around campus watches the show. Um, I absolutely hated it. It was really bad and you weren't very funny. Okay, uh, why? Would, would you mind telling me why? No, I just didn't like it. It just, it just rubbed you the wrong way? I just, yeah. I wasn't funny? It just, I didn't think it was funny. I couldn't finish watching it. Is it my eyebrows? Mmm, maybe it's your hair. What's wrong with my hair? I don't know. Uh, at least she's honest. I, there's better things on TV. Like what? The news. Um, I don't know. Old Lucy reruns. Oh, okay, I'll be brutally honest here. You dress terribly. Um, you're... Just the whole show is just pointless to me. I think you'd be better off doing something better time, like... Uh... Like making model boats in a bottle? Uh, well, that'd be, you know, pr more productive than you already are, but I mean, maybe Trash Man? I mean, you're, right. you're already dealing with garbage enough for this, like a show, so maybe. Got it, Gabe. I you're got welcome. It. I just get out of here. Dude. Thanks. <laughs> it was really good. I would say you were almost as good as Jimmy Fallon. Really? Yeah. Almost as good. I'm probably better looking than Jimmy Fallon, too. I've gotten that quite a bit. It was awesome. You are more attractive than George Clooney. Like, my boyfriend better put a tight leash on me. And what'd you think, man? It was fantastic. What was your favorite part about me as a host? Your face. My face. I've <laughs> never gotten that before. But, um, just say it, cut the camera off. That means a whole lot to me. <sighs> okay, I'm good. Um, really, really moving stuff here. And guys, just, do you have any advice for me, maybe in the future? I don't know, but you smell really good. I've wanted to add that before, but you smell mm -hmm. really good. Yep, keep doing what you're doing. Well, I'm, you know, I'm gonna keep smelling good, and you guys keep on keeping on. Thanks a ton <laughs> for the vote of confidence, ladies. Well, you know, I'm graduating this semester, and this is, this is the last episode of the show. So, you know, what would you suggest I do with that? I mean, you probably should, you know, get a real day job and stop doing this. It might not be your calling. I, well, you make some good points, Kennedy. Uh, I gotta go. I gotta go get a real job. That's... How did I not think of that before? I gotta leave. Well, guys, um, that's it. Of course, I want to thank you all for giving me an outlet to say all the insanely idiotic things I normally keep to myself every week. Even though it was tough at times, I can truly say I'll never forget being able to do this bizarre, strange little project I thought up someday over winter break. A special thanks to Cindy Carter and Kristen Althaus for not firing me and letting me see this through. And of course, Patrick Clay, Alex Chaney, Johnny Lombardi, Derek Kopp, Cody Krupp, Taylor Cure, Mitch Rabelais, Amanda Luskin, Reggie Chapman, Chanel Reed, Jared Joseph, and Brandon Hilliard for doing actual work while I got to do this. I love you all. It means a lot to me. So for one last time, have a great rest of your lives, party people. Now and forever, I'm Pat Gunther.